Hello, everyone. And welcome to a well-deserved Saturday. Oh, and welcome to the morning. punk channel. I know, we're both kind of in black today. <laughs> kind of? Kind of we in are black. in black. Yeah. I don't really know And why. yours looks like a concert tee, and mine looks like... Buckies! I don't remember, I think somebody sent this to me. Yes. I think they I did. I believe so. I... Yes. Love this shirt. I wear it all the time. Mine, I <laughs> found off of eBay. It's a Kenzo shirt. A Dracula Kenzo shirt. It says, The Night, Night of Kenzo. Night of the Living Kenzo. I found it on... Well, I found it on the Real Real, but it was, like, priced really high, even though they priced Kenzo, like, not Nothing. high. <laughs> but, of course, the one t-shirt I wanted was, like, priced super high. And so then I found it on eBay. On Phoebe. I love a good Phoebe find. And it was a great oh. deal. It's a little oversized, but like, that's okay. We love a baggy t shirt. <laughs> I don't think I've ever owned Kenzo. But, anyways, welcome to the week of the 15th through the 21st. We already have a yawn. Oh. Somebody did point out that in Ryan's day in the life, I yawned. It was really, it was really like a reverse that. of like reality. It was oh, kind of so funny. It's like a multiverse. We went into the like opposite the spider lines. verse. Yeah. <laughs> this week was actually, at least for me, quite a good sales week. Mine was okay. It was pretty average. I am not really sure why. I didn't do any low offers being sent out. I just sent out my normal kind of like percentages. I didn't do any extra sharing. I honestly didn't do that much listing because we didn't get like a ton at the bins last week. No. I feel like that haul mm -hmm. took a while to show for some reason because we... I just but do but it. it wasn't like it wasn't like a ton of stuff. So I no rhyme or reason. To None at all. Week. Yeah. No. How was your other platform sales? Depop was kind of slow this week. I didn't screenshot them in order, so I'll share my Depop sales at the end. But it was okay. I feel like I had a lot of full price sales on Depop though of people just like buying stuff, and on Poshmark I was getting a lot of offers, mm. and a lot of those offers were trash. But thankfully, it turned into a couple of sales. I had a good sale on eBay, and then I did have a Mercari sale that I am going to tell you guys about. But also, before we jump into it, you guys should let us know below what you want to see from us next week. We still do not have it planned. Oh, and really yawny today. And that we, was awful. We honestly might just do a bins thrift with us. Once again, yes. this weekend, we have oh. not had time with Debbie to do no. the Debbie Y2K no. transformation. She went to a concert last night. I know. Debbie's friend. like, Debbie's globetrotting, man. She is Miss Social She's Butterfly. Busy. <laughs> she very so, much is. So we have not been booked on her schedule yet, so we have not made that video yet, but I mean, that is still definitely happening probably Soon. before we kick into, like, fall mode and stuff on here. Like, that's still on the summer have-to list. Yes, we will. So next week, we might just do a Bins Thrift With Us and then Bins Haul, if that does interest you guys. I think I saw a mm -hmm. comment on, like, one of the last week videos of, like, <laughs> already looking forward to another Thrift With Us, or, oh, yeah, Thrift With Us. I, I love like, the Bins Thrift With Us. They are the they fun are so ones. Fun. Yeah. So that might be what we do, but I hope you guys enjoyed the day in the life of Ryan, and I hope you enjoyed our Bins Haul. I had a good time. It was fun. Stuff. I'm shocked that I was able to get that much footage. Mm -hmm. I'm usually so bad at being able to get all the clips. It was a lot of footage. It was a lot of footage. But we did, fun, we did have a second channel video. Video go up yesterday, of course, which is the second link below, and it did have Ryan in it. It had Debbie in it. Yes, it did. I don't think it had the puppies in it this time. And then also on. It wasn't on Wednesday, but I think on Thursday, the per wool little short yes. went up. The little, like, YouTube TikTok. Yes, it did. It went up a day later than I was hoping to. Because, they lightened a dollar short. Because YouTube <laughs> can only have the shorts be a minute, and TikToks can be, like, three minutes. So I had mm -hmm. to, like, re-edit the video and, like, chop out parts where I was just, like, kind of not saying anything. So it's, like, a shortened version but it is up if you're yes. interested. Oh, so, it's such that's a wonderful up. product. We're going to jump into sales, but of course, before we jump into the sales, we, we do have, have a Valentine to talk about. VIP to highlight for everyone. <laughs> and this week it is Miss Bethany. Bethany. Uh, Bethany's username is Daylight1, but it is not spelt like daylight. It is D A Y E L I T E 1. Ooh. It definitely could be Day Elite 1, but I assume it's Daylight. I I think it's daylight. I was saying My day vibe elite, is daylight. but then Ryan's like, it's probably daylight. And I was like, yeah, it probably actually is. Bethany's closet is right here. <sighs> Everybody go share some love with love. Bethany. Everybody say love. <laughs> love. 
love. I feel like I just keep getting it wrong. It's just gonna be me <laughs> saying like love in that high pitched voice over and over and over again. Yeah. So share her stuff. Give her some comments. Give her some likes. Give her some purchases if you're feeling yes. also generous. If you see something that's really tickling the ivories. She's got some golas, she's got some Ooh. Uggs, she's got all kinds of stuff. Thanks. So Good thank man. you to Miss Bethany for being a Valentine VIP, and thank you to all of our Valentines. We so appreciate it as per usual. And Valentines, you are getting a video this next Wednesday. That's the yes. one video that we know that we're doing and know the concept of. Yes. And don't worry, you're still getting two in July, because actually on the 31st, Monday of next week, there'll be another Valentine video. Yes, there will be. So <laughs> one note for the audience, somebody on Instagram asked me when you say who are the valentines the valentines is our paid subscription just for like new people that are hanging around mm -hmm. it's three dollars a month and we give you two extra videos there's like emojis you can use that we made yes. there's like i think that's what they were asking about was like how do people get those mic yeah. emojis no pressure to do it no. but like if you're wondering yeah like why someone has a little mic next to them or yeah. why someone like maybe references for a those video curious so let's jump into the non parchment 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 sales Parsh first which I will do my eBay, my Mercari, and then you could do your Depops before we do. Yes, I could. The we will do that. So my Mercari one, I want to share with you because, as per usual, it perpetuates Mercari's that two. Mercari is like <laughs> two years behind Poshmark. So if there's anything mm -hmm. that used to do good on Posh, now it's doing good. Our Mercari, oh, <laughs> Lululemon, Torrid, yes. Gojo jeans, mm -hmm. like, all that teaks. kind of stuff. So my sale was this pair of teaks. They were the black leather classic black ba -ba 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 -ba. ballet ballets. Ballet. These sold for forty five dollars. Not exactly sure what I get, but probably around like thirty nine, thirty eight or something. But you lose ten percent. Yeah, but they something have like, like some like have that processing new, like, fees and stuff now. Irritating. So it's like thirteen percent. I feel like <laughs> my other sale. Honestly, I think was my best of the week and that was on eBay and this was a great freaking sale and yes. if these had been my size they would not oh, be going anywhere them immediately they're beautiful no shoes. they wouldn't be going anywhere so I sold these Alexander McQueen rare jewel embellished leather platform si slide sandals so these had cute. these huge like buckles on them that almost look like a belt buckle and then on the buckle was like this huge black crystal it's beautiful S Stunning. Oh, I can only find so like great. one other person that has ever sold them. So cute. So don't yell at me for saying rare. <laughs> I only found one other one there ever There are ever some rare items on the internet. Yes. Popular belief. <laughs> These sold for a whopping full asking price of $500. Ooh. And they sold internationally. So I don't actually know where they're going. I just know that they went to the eBay like international they airport. They go to Kentucky. Yeah. And then off they go from there. Don't know where they're going. It would be interesting to find out. I hope it's like Transylvania. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> That'd be they really go cool. back to the vampire territory. Yeah, but yeah, sold for 500 and they paid for the shipping too, so that is fantastic, yeah. but those things are stunning, so like, I get it. Yes. I get it. Okay, I had five on Depop, my first of which was on the 17th, and it was this pair of Reebok Club C85 re-edition Kareem leather sneakers. They sold full price for 40 bucks. I make like 30 something, 39 after fees and stuff. The girlies love those shoes. Yes, what they a, and do. so do the the guysies. The himbos. <laughs> I don't know what the name is for the like trendy Y2K like guys. My cousin just recently ordered one of those. Yes, he, he did. Conveniently from Depop. It's yeah. like her bar shoes. I yeah, he was exactly like, he was what like, these are going to be. He was like, do you guys ever sell in Depop? That's like really cool. He was like, it's like, Mm -hmm. Who's that? What's that? <laughs> anyway, my next one. I don't know her. I mean, like, I've never heard of that. Yet. My next <laughs> one was this vintage Club Monaco black splice silk midi skirt. Sold for $28 on the 18th. Then I sold on the 18th again a vintage 1998 Pillsbury Doughboy Giggle Contest <laughs> front back graphic shirt. This had something in it where you would like push a button and he would like. <laughs> He would like giggle, you but that mechanism tummy. has unfortunately been lost to the ages. This sold full price for 35 bucks. And then on the 19th, I love these little shirts. Vintage Y2K floral embellished square neck cap sleeve baby tee sold full price for $28. And I make like 26 and some change. And then my last on Depop was this Y2K vintage 90s black plaid button front crop top sold for $18. And I make like 16 something. So moving on to Poshmark. Portmark. Poshmark. Portmark. On the 15th, the first day of what's on Saturday, I had six sales. I didn't have any. My first sale was a really good one. I Very sold these good. Bottega Veneta BV 1085 SA large oversized sunglasses. So cute. I kind of felt like this was a gamble when I picked these up, but 
it paid off yep. because these sold for two hundred and forty one dollars, and I get one hundred and ninety seventy eight. I kind of feel like I paid about ninety, probably. For Walk away with a hundred bucks. So easy, yeah, easy. that was pretty good. I did list those probably like two eighty five or something. So that wasn't too far off of my listing so price. Mm -hmm. Then I sold these Ula Johnson cashmere striped ribbed pants. Oh, these these sold for one hundred and fifty dollars, and I get one hundred and twenty. I actually do have another pair of these in XL, but the size smalls sold. So oh. that's great. They're super cute. They're and actually, so Ula originally sold like a sweater that matched. So you could just be this like striped <laughs> cashmere like soft the like thing from the like all oh, the places you'll go. <laughs> that like striped thing that he's standing on. Yes. Speaking Good of Lord. soft, full length, like interesting little pieces of clothing, this is one of my favorite brands, and this is a total bolo. It mm -hmm. is not the most common find, but I will say. Never say never. I have actually found this brand like three times, so it's mm -hmm. definitely possible. And it's been like consignment store, thrifted, something yeah. else. Like I think they've they might have all been... been consignment store, honestly. I can see that. So it is called Nicholas K, and it's kind of like a lag and look brand, but it's more of like a Rick. Owens leg and look it's where it's like unisex it's very gray not much colors and it uses yeah. very very expensive material so it's mm -hmm. a lot like Rick Owens this was the reversible maxi long sleeve yak dress because it was made completely of like yak fur this sold for $250 and I get 200 I think this actually had been sold at free people at some point too but it did sell under Nicholas K. That's one thing. This is one of those brands that Free People sells like every once in a while. Mm -hmm. And it's so expensive. It's ridiculously expensive. Like it's like with the Magnolia. Oh my God, I remember stuff. the first one you ever found was a TJ Maxx like yellow tag find. I remember yes. that all the way back when and you were in college. And it, it had been a Free People one. Wild. And that sold for like $400. That, that was, was like, expensive That was for dress. a while one of my biggest sales by far. Mm -hmm. Then Shone popped into my closet. So hello. Hello, Shone, Hi. and thank you so much for checking out my closet. Closet. I sold her these Express Super High Mom Distressed Jeans, these Young Fabulous and Broke Pastel Tie-Dye Joggers, and these Onesie Flow Crane Floral Print Leggings for 50 and I get 40 Love. So thank you so much, Shone. Then Cheryl popped into my closet. So hello, Cheryl. This is a cute sweater. And Cheryl, I'm pretty sure, is also from Minnesota. So this is a very fitting sweater for her to purchase. Yes. She got this Talbot's ski graphic printed <laughs> graphic light sweater. Perfect. So this was so cute. This was one of those pieces like as long as it was a mall brand, it didn't matter which mall brand because oh, this sweater was just so adorable. adorable. This sold for 24 and I get 1718. So hopefully she'll go like ski in the slopes I in would Minnesota. Go sit we, in the um what's the, go sit in the chalet. Yeah. I'm not trying to go skiing. <laughs> I'm trying to sit there with my little like we, hot toddy and like watch everybody. <laughs> we live quite close to this huge ski hill in Minnesota and mm -hmm. I hope that I suddenly like it's right by a highway so I'll be like driving somewhere and I'll look over and like Cheryl will be like, she's going a hundred million like miles. She's like skiing down, just thing. like waving. I'll just see the sweater. <laughs> she's doing that one where you have to like go off each of those bumps. The like oh, black God. diamond one or whatever. <laughs> then I sold this for ready. For ready. For ready. For ready. Look at that. I we pulled it out of some right. mental recess. For ready. And the reason it's so confusing is if you know the brand and you know how it's spelled, it does not look like the word for ready. But apparently no, you say it looks for like Fahardi. For ready. It looks like Fahardi. But it's Fahardi. for ready. Somehow you just forget that the E's before the R. It's Dutch. <laughs> Costa Organic <laughs> Slubbed Cotton Dress. This sold for 40 and I get 32 I think the reason that we actually find Ferretti every once in a while is because Ever Eve sells it. Oh, I was going to say it's because we live in Minnesota. And Ever Eve is like what owns every mom. <laughs> Literally. Like, the chokehold that Ever Eve has on some of these suburban moms is... Yeah. Which is like not a problem because like Ever Eve sells free people. They sell Goldie. Spiritual Gangster, which mm -hmm. used to be really exciting. They sell Ferretti. They sell a lot of like good brands. Have good brands. That's why we find Sanctuary like... Every like, other freaking, time. Like it's as common as like the dirt on the ground. Like... Literally. <laughs> oh. Ferretti's a bolo too. Yes. So moving on to the 16th. I had... Fall one. You want to go first? Ooh. I do. I will. I'll Just save my kidding. little one. <laughs> I'm going to talk. Look what I have to put up with. <gasps> okay. My one and only on the 16th was a cute little bundle of this Ranger Bar 80s green graphic trucker hat and this really cute little Y2K kid core orange leather little top handle bag. Sold for $35 and I will make 28 Mine start off with this loft blue velvet button blazer jacket. This sold for my full asking price of 46 big ones and I get 30 
3680. That is great yes. for a loft piece. Mm -hmm. But I love me any kind of like cute Maw brand blazer. Like they all do good. It doesn't even matter mm -hmm. the brand. Then, oh my gosh, I get to do it. I get to <gasps> do it. Everybody buckle up. <laughs> I sold this Agua by Agua Bendita Dragonfly Pomelo mini dress. This sold for $240. I get $192. Once again, somehow, everybody in the reselling community found out about Agua, and now it seems to be pretty saturated. She's a little all over the place. So it still goes for obviously like really good money, and mm -hmm. it's still a huge bolo, but it takes a bit longer. She does sit for just so a So I have had bit. this one for quite a hot minute, but that's a great sales price on a mini dress from Agua at this point, so I was very happy to sell that. Yeah. Then I sold these Doc Martens Burgundy Miles Leather Platform Sandals. These sold for 85 and I get so 68 good. Those I paid up for like a little bit at a consignment store, but not mm -hmm. too much. Then I unfortunately do not have the name of this individual, but I know she watches us and I know that she's a mom of four, two of those four being dogs. Love. But I couldn't find her shipping label again to get her name. But her username is W Birdie, W B E R T I. And oh, she I purchased that name. She purchased this mm -hmm. Lace Sierra News Positano Lucy Blue Star dress. Stunning. I think that this brand was in our last dress bolo. I think it was. I have like run into mm -hmm. this brand suddenly like a lot. Like I have quite a few pieces by them. This is good. And the actual brand is called Emporio Positano, but it like it has like two names. It's really confusing. It's both Italian. brands it's quite funky. are brands you can choose on Posh, so that makes it even more confusing. And you kind of have to like double list it. I don't, I don't know. know. But this sold for three hundred and twenty-five dollars. But these dresses are so expensive. Over a thousand. And I think this one was actually new with tags, and so I get two hundred sixty. So thank you. Mother of four, two of them being dogs. Absolutely. <laughs> Much appreciated. And that's it for my 16th. And then on the 17th, I didn't have any. I had six on the 17th. Wow. Which is, yeah, I had six. Well, okay then. Heck yeah. Okay, so my first being this Anthropology Florite Floral Bell Sleep Kimono. This sold for $34 and I will make $27.20. And then Miss Tanyelle popped into my closet and I was looking at her address on her shipping label and I was like, that's two blocks away. <laughs> she was so close to us. So thank you, Miss Tanyelle. Thanks, Mark. neighbor. Thanks, neighbor. <laughs> really cute. Tie it to a little paper airplane. Like, I thought about it. Just like throwing it on her front porch like a newsboy. <laughs> Anthropology Postmark Pink Orange Floral. Really cute little terry cloth top. Good for sitting out by a lake. If you live on the lake. And we nice. know you live by a lake because we live by Because we lake. live by the lake too, <laughs> which is funny. Sold for $24 and I will make $19.20. And then I sold this pair of Disney Mickey Balloon Disney Ears. Like they were the... So... Hard to explain. I'm also losing my train of thought. They have the like ear thing on the headband, but they look like the balloons that have the Mickey balloon in them. Very, I know what you're very meta. Sold for fifteen dollars minus a shipping discount. I make nine eighty eight. I got my fun little wear out of these, and now we can like enjoy. Pass them along. My next on the seventeenth went to one of you, but I again could not find the name. Ugg red leather carved wooden clogs from the bins haul a couple weeks ago. Sold for $34 and I will make $27.20. Then on the 17th, this sold actually kind of quick, which is kind of surprising. Laurel Birch Y2K Black Dragonfly Art Print T-shirt sold full price for $26 and I will make $20.80. My last on the 17th is something Jack gave me in the bins. It was this checkerboard black and white pink flame sweater. There was no brand in it. It was definitely just like some little boutique sweater. It was really well made though. Really cute. cute. Sold for it, 20 bucks. I make 60. Remind me of Prada, kind of. I mean, not obviously like quality and stuff, but it did remind me of Prada. Moving on to the 18th, I had two. I had one. My first sale was this pair of Tory Burch <laughs> floral chain printed horse bit Jessa loafers. Jessa. This just proved to me why I love the Jessas and I always pay mm -hmm. up for them. These sold in like two hours. Like it was, it was sale. definitely under a day, definitely under like 12 hours. Like it was like I listed them around early afternoon and I think they were gone by the night. Mm -hmm. These sold for $195 and I get 156 and I listed these at like 230. That's crazy. So that was a great offer. That's a good offer. She wanted them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then amazing. Very, very strange, confusing brand and kind of a bolo, but I guarantee no one will ever find this ever again, including nope. myself. 
myself. <laughs> Lisa DeSico black oversized blazer jacket. I was at Unique. I was just looking at the men's blazers because they do sometimes accidentally throw some like women's ones in. I don't think they do. I found this and I could tell that it was supposed to be like women's because it said like extra small, but it was like really oversized. It seemed like some kind of revolve thing or something. Mm -hmm. Looked it up, super niche brand. All she's ever sold is like a bra, a tank top, this exact blazer and like maybe a pair of pants. That's all she's ever sold and that's still all she has on the website. Posh has had like one or two listings of her stuff and it was like just the bra and like the tank top. <laughs> Huh? Not much to base it off of, but the retail was two fifty and it was like eight bucks. So I was like, sure. sure. Take a gamble. Sold for eighty two and I get sixty five sixty and it did sell in a couple days, two days, three days. So That's pretty good. I guess. Yeah. If you stumble across it. Alisa DeSico yeah. or whatever her last name is. I suppose. Pick it up. Easy peasy. Okay, my one and only on the 18th was something from my own personal collection. The Wife by Todd Mangle wool lavender hat. I'm just not like a hat person anymore. I'm just not like a wide-brimmed hat person. You're I more of a like, trucker. Yeah. Which isn't even that common still, no, but like... I know. But like, ugh. No, not anymore. So for $30, I got an MA24. This was like a $5 Urban Outfitters clearance find, which is where most of my hats, I feel like, came from, which is wonderful. I know you've moved on from hats to toupees. I have moved on from hats to toupees. <laughs> Can you imagine if I just like... <laughs> on the 19th, I had four. One. My first sale was this Vinyan Vine. Vinyan Vine. Gingham, gingham, gingham. I it's funny when a title has like a bunch of things we say weird, and I sound like somebody that needs, needs to be put somewhere. <laughs> gingham spring seersucker dress. This is a really good spring, summer, or fall dress because gingham is like very fall as well. Mm -hmm. Sold for thirty, I get twenty four. Then I sold this Gymshark gray athletic short sleeve shirt. This was from my own personal collection. I didn't like outfit, and like I never liked outfit. Mm -hmm. I wore it when I like didn't have any other clean gym <laughs> shirts. So this sold for twenty two. I get seventeen sixty. I think it was a large, and I will say I do like my athletic shirts to be like form fitting. And mm -hmm. like with a normal shirt, I wear a medium. So it definitely wasn't like doing that for me. Then Kimberly, Kimberly, Kimberly popped into my closet, and she did anyone want some dance goes? Kimberly wants some dance goes. Kimberly did say she wanted a pair of dance goes. Kimberly goals. said she shot like right from watching the video to my closet. She Good. said that she was like watching as I was holding it, and she's like, if he says size thirty eight, gold, and I said thirty eight. So she like shot to my closet. She got the Dansko black leather knee high Odette boots for 50 and I get 40. Once again, a great fall piece. And last on the 19th was the Banana Republic tall puff sleeve floral dress. Sold for 24. I get 1920. Probably could have got more if I got it to eBay, but it sold so quick that it didn't get to eBay. <sighs> I love a good mall brand. My one and only on the 19th. This is why I pick up clogs for everybody that's wondering. The other pair of clogs that I got in that Ben's trip, the Earth Forced Green Leather Carved Wooden Clogs, sold for 25 bucks. I make 20. The kid charged me like a dollar for my entire bag of shoes. So like, I'm looking at a quarter. <laughs> Those were cute. Which is amazing. I like they the were knot. also adorable. I really like the knots on I them. I know, they had a little knot in them. It was so cute. On the 20th, I had two. I didn't have any. My first sale was this Barton Perriera pair of sunglasses. They were the BP0117, if you're interested in them. And I think they were brown. Who's Barton Perriera? Never heard of him. Well, let's see. We talked about it in the bolo. I'm glad you listened to me when I'm talking. In we did so many bolos. I don't remember any of those people. <laughs> As you can see, I write the bolo list. So usually I remember everything from them. Ryan's like, I will just pay attention to the ones that I have to talk about. I don't even remember half of those, to be completely honest. All around me are If you literally faces. handed me a list and you were like, Ryan, you talked about all these brands, I'd be like, I don't remember any of them. Ryan needs a bolo notebook. I need like, yeah. <laughs> I need, I was going to yes. make some other kind of reference. Well, write these down in your mental bolo notebook. It's not going to Because leave. the mental bolo, the mental notebook is so like jam-packed full of everything. It's not going to fit. Maybe your storage space just isn't big enough. I need more RAM. <laughs> these sold for a hundred and I get 80. <laughs> so it is a brand worth picking up. Good to know. Those were actually a bins find of mine. Next up, Jennifer popped into my closet. And Jennifer didn't say she's a viewer, but I've like, it's one of those things where like I've seen her, see her picture pop up quite you. a few times, like sharing or liking stuff. So mm -hmm. I assume. So Jennifer made a big old bundle. Yes, she, she got this HM wool emo goth punk spike brimmed hat that I Cute. really freaking like. ASTR lace floral black fall witch core dress. So she's ready for this whole like witchy core outfit. Yes, she absolutely Mini is. Rodini full body long. Long sleeve clover onesie 
So cute. I do remember Mini Rodini. Very expensive. That was on a brand. Bolo too. I remember that one. Designer baby clothing nine month lot. Designer baby zero to three month clothing lot. And splendid <laughs> Fourth of July star printed bikini top. And cute. she got all these for 150, and I get 120. Thank you so That's much, Jennifer. At two. Oh, my back cracked when I sneezed. Look, what happened to me? All what happened? Me Where did I go? Familiar. My back cracked out when I sneezed. Oh my god, that felt kind of good. So she'll be getting a big box in the mail. Good! That's a lot of baby box. clothes. <laughs> <laughs> then on the last day, what's on Saturday, the 21st, I had seven. Five. I had to count. The Ram. It's Blame running it on out. The I need another gig. Blame it on the Ram. Uh, 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 <laughs> So my first day on the 21st with these Polo Ralph Lauren camo cargo shorts. I was never able to find out if they were like some like military. Um, oh, they sold fast though. Um, 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 like surplus. surplus. That's the word I'm looking for. But I assume so. Sold for 35, I get 28. Some comps were like 50, but like I just wanted to sell them too. Make you money. Then Dina popped into my closet and Dina made Dina. a great purchase. I love I like Dina. her taste. She said she's kicking off spooky season yes. with the Just Love Fleece Skeleton Graphic Printed Onesie Jumpsuit. Sold for so 30 and I get 24 and sure enough like I said these were $79.99 on Amazon so like they are they expensive. are so expensive Ugh. then I sold this Anthropology Harlan long line snap long jacket for 45 and I get 36 then I sold this Zaya Heaven Hendrix tie-dye cloud long sleeve shirt for 27 I get 1862 then I sold this Anthropology sleeping on snow shimmery eyelash cardigan so freaking soft so cute sold for 31 I get 2182 then I knew this would go quick this was from the most recent haul oh immediately this always do so good vintage grandma core floral printed button quilt jacket for 44 I get 3222 the mm. interesting thing and I checked back because I was like 44 I've for one of these before. floral Vera Bradley jackets sounds so familiar <laughs> sure enough the only other one I've ever had sold for 44. I love that so apparently list them at like 50 and just send everyone 44 and you'll sell them perfect so then my last sell of the week we did end with a good one we yes, sold we these, did. we bookended her these Prada patent leather black logo plaque heels for $300 and I get 240 Good. I stuck to my $300. This person just kept countering and countering. The thing where they like go up by like five and it started at like 140 oh, and I started at like 500 and it was like moving in and in and in. And Come when on, I, like just when give I got, me the money, let's go. When I got like, to 300 move. I was like, this is it. This is my final offer. And they still kept countering and I was like, I am just going to keep sending you 300 This is it. <laughs> anyway, my first of the 21st was this, if you didn't know, a tennis skirt because they do really good. I never found that out from you. I found that out from Stacy. I've Stacey? never heard you say that before, but Stacy told me that. And so I did know that she actually. Knows. She's yeah. a woman that knows. <laughs> Uh, Nike cobalt blue pleated shorts lined tennis <laughs> skirt. I don't know what happened with that title, but that is a rough one. Like you're like reading random words, just like blue, Nike, Whoa. skirt, That's a tough tennis, one. golf. It's like you're I don't need it a little bit to be desired, literally. So for $30 and I will make 24 Then the lovely Bruno popped into my closet and got themselves Bruno. these really, we don't talk about Bruno. It's from Encanto Movie. I didn't watch that. Of course you didn't. Got these really adorable Sorrel Brown lugged sole. They were the Phoenix boot. They sold for $60. I've made 48. My entire Cute. bins haul has now been paid for. Your whole $1. I know, everything was a dollar, which is so nice. <laughs> and then Miss Betsy popped into my closet and got herself this really adorable pair of Rothy's Indigo Gingham round toe little flats. These sold for $50 and I will make 40 Those were really cute. They were really adorable. Next on the 21st was a, another sale from the Bins Hall. Miss Alexandra popped in and got themselves this really adorable Lucky Brand and the Indian Motorcycles. What are those called? Ringer tees with like a little collar and the sleeve cuffs that are different kind colors. Of tee. So cute. Well, for $20, I will make $13.02 and then a a lovely little friend of mine gave me a pair of jeans to sell. And I sold this pair of Urban Outfitters BDG, the Skylar High Waisted, really adorable floral embroidered jeans. Sold for 36 bucks and we will make it 25.82. So my gross for the week was quite good. Probably one of the best I've had in a long time. Good. 2616. 2616. My gross for Poshmark was 473. And my gross for Depop was 149. It's like for five items, having to be 150 bucks. 
And my net was two thousand and seventy-one and thirty cents. On Poshmark, my net was three hundred and seventy-eight dollars, and on Depop, my net was one hundred and thirty-three. I've been doing a That's lot. Pretty of, good. I've been doing a lot of damage on the second channel for those that watch that, so it's good for me to have a big sales week. <laughs> it kinda, is. It's, it's very. Necessary. It's very necessary. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so that is all that we have for you guys today. Debbie's been texting us up a storm. This is like always. Saturday's like the one day that Debbie's like, hello, hello, like, hello, are we like, gonna oh go to God, lunch? Are we gonna, gonna do, do anything? Something? And I'm like, Debbie, the one day that I like have stuff to do is Literally. the one day you want to see me. Literally. <sighs> Don't need to see me. Moms. Ugh. <laughs> Debbie's. Ugh. It's just Debbie's. Who needs them? So we will see you guys on Tuesday for probably a thrift with us. Yes. That just like sounds fun. Oh, yeah. And then we'll see you on Thursday for a thrift haul from said thrift with us. Hopefully we find some more Chanel. I would love to. I cannot wait to get those knives from the cobbler. we gotta do a thrift with us because then you need to like have proof. Yeah, literally. Everyone probably thinks you're lying. I hope so. I hope so. And then I'm gonna laugh all the way to the bank when they sell. Yeah, true. And I'm gonna go, hey. That's why it's like, <laughs> if, <laughs> if, if, somebody, if somebody did believe you, it's like, what? <laughs> okay. They're in my house and I'm gonna sell them and make the money. Girl, keep laughing. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. So we will see you guys on Tuesday and Thursday, and Wednesday, and Friday, and Saturday. <laughs> we'll see you on any day that ends in Y. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye.